Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use Bixby or Google Voice to make a call to a contact without touching the phone. So let's first uh, do a demo uh, before we go into how you can do that. So let's test it out. Okay, Google, call Alan. So you Calling can see, Alan. So you can see I'm not touching the phone and it's making the call. So let's try to use Bixby this time. Hey Bixby, call Alan. Calling Alan. And again, it's making a call to Alan. So let's see how you can set it up. I have already set it up on the Galaxy S20. So let's move that out of the way and let's see how you can set it up for the Galaxy S21 series. They are pretty much the same. So first, let's swipe down at the top and tap on the settings button. In settings, let's first set up Google. So we're going to tap on Google in the settings. In Google, you want to go down and tap on settings for Google Apps. Tap on that and then tap on search, assistant and voice. Next, we go down and tap on voice and then tap on voice match. And then we need to sign into your Google account and then we need to set up. Now we need to have a good internet connections to for this to work. And at the moment you can see my Wi-Fi is quite weak. So let's try it again. So let's set up, get started. So we need to first train Google. So we're gonna say, hey Google. So, hey Google. So let's test it out. Let's Hi. train. How can I help? Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, after uh, repeatedly saying the same things, uh, we have now trained Google to recognize our voice. So I want to tap on finished. So that is switch on. And it's got a voice model you can retrain the voice model if you need it to. And so we have now uh, set up uh, voice match. So again, we go on here and we make sure that it is switch on. So it is now switch on. Hey, Google. So we say, you can say, okay, Google, or hey, Google. As you can see, it pops up right now. Okay, Google. Call, incoming call. Calling back at jungles. And it's making the call, so I'm just going to hang up for now. Okay, so we have successfully set up a Google Voice call. So now we're going to go and set up Bixby, if you want to use Bixby. Now swipe down at the top and tap on the settings button. In here, tap on the search button, and I'm just going to type in Bixby Voice so we can quickly locate the Bixby app. So in here, in apps, tap on Bixby, and then we need to go down and tap on Bixby Voice settings. In here, make sure you turn on voice wake up. By default, it is switch off. So we need to wait, um, turn it on for voice wake up to work. Tap on the left hand side panel and then tap on recognize voice. Tap on the switch to turn it on. Once it is switched on, we need to train Bixby to recognize our voice. So tap on the start button and say, hi Bixby. 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 Okay, now that we have trained Bixby, tap on done. And then go down here and you can make any of the changes that you need it to, such as wake up sensitivity, either high or medium or low. Improve voice wake up accuracy. This will allow you to retrain Bixby. You can also delete your voice uh, training by tapping on the delete voice wake up recordings. Use when phone speaker playing or speak seamlessly. Now speak seamlessly allow you to say hi Bixby and then immediately after that you can say like hi Bixby, co Allen or something like that. So you can switch it on or switch it off. That's up to you. So we can test it out. Hi Bixby. 
Call IT jungles. I didn't understand that. Now, if you say didn't understand, maybe because it couldn't locate that contact, so you might might want to try it with another name. Hey Bixby. Call incoming call. You have four incoming calls over the last three days. Missed calls from a jingles from today at 12:16 p.m. Missed calls from a jingles from yesterday. Incoming calls from a jingles from July 21st. Should I keep going? Yes. Missed calls from a jingles. Call ID jingles. Hey Bixby. Call ID jingles. I couldn't find a contact named Ida Jangos. Okay, okay. Who do you want to call? Okay, Bixby. Call incoming call. Who should I call? Incoming call. You have four incoming calls over the last three days. Okay, Missed because, calls. Okay, so Bixby is not smart enough to understand. I'm trying to ask it to call a contact name incoming call. So if you're going to find these contacts, call incoming call. I couldn't understand that. Perhaps I can try it again. Ask it to call in IT jungles. Hey Bixby, call IT jungles. I found two contacts like that. It jingles too. It jingles. Who should I call? The first one. Calling it jingles too. So it's also important that we do not have a very similar name or duplicate names that can confuse Bixby. You can see um, on the other phone, on the other phone, the, the Bixby works quite well. So also, if you just have recently activated Bixby in Google Voice, sometimes it needs a little bit of time for Bixby to go through your database, and then it will try to learn all the contacts available on your phone. So sometimes it doesn't pick up straight away. You may need to wait. I don't know, maybe a day or two, and then after some times, it will go through all your contacts, and then it will learn what is in your contact, and after that, you can make a more accurate uh, voice call. So hopefully that helps. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Now, also, if you wanted to know if you can actually make a call while the phone is locked, uh, it's not possible because obviously that would be a security breach. Uh, anyone could have accessed your phone and make calls without locking into your phone. So that's why if you try to ask Google to make a call, it will ask you to put in a passcode. Okay, Google, call incoming call. Okay, but first you'll have to unlock your device. And you can see it will ask you to unlock the device either with Face ID or a passcode. And after that, it will be able to make a call once you have verified the Calling back lock screen. And that's it. Thank you for watching.